Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. Thanks for checking us out. Now, if this is your first time coming to the show, I just want to say what's up. I'm Jersey, nice to meet you. We're here with Curtis Kempton. So I hope this show does not suck and you want to go watch some other stuff. So please go back, check out our other episodes. We are in the 50s. This is a weekly podcast we've done now over a year. So every Friday, a new episode comes out. Check it out on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, all those fun things. And you can watch it on YouTube. So if you are part of the Cool Kids, one of the uh, one of the uh, the nation, the elite, right? You're somebody who watches every episode. You give us a thumbs up. You subscribe and all that stuff. Plus you comment what's going on it's because of you that we get to keep doing this show so thank you very very much and if you are one of the upper echelon cool kids who buys your supplies through me it's because of you that i get to eat name brand ramen noodles so thank you very very much uh and if you want to order any supplies through me you certainly can big small questions anything 862-312-2026 shoot me a text Anytime. Tell me you like the show. Tell me you hate the show. Tell me my nose is crooked and you like turtles. I don't care. But that's my number, so you can certainly reach out anytime you want. So, with that all being said, every single week we do a giveaway. And this week, we are going to be giving away two tickets to the huge convention. And how you win is you comment on YouTube. So, thanks to everybody who commented. Last week, the winner is going to be Jared Barton. What up, man? I don't know if you're even going to the show, so hopefully you are. If you're not going, I don't know what's wrong with you, but hopefully you're going. Either way, email me your information, josh at window cleaning resource. Let me know your uh, info, and we'll get you tickets out right away. So if you want to win, this week we're going to be giving away a $50 credit for window cleaning resource and a swag bag. So if you want to win, comment on our YouTube video, and that is it. Thank you. Anyway. That's enough of the babbling in the beginning. Today, my I don't even need to introduce my um, my 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 friend, my my uh, co-host here for the day, Mr. Curtis Kempton. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing, Jersey? <laughs> I am doing awesome. You're just you're famous as anyway you know as far as speakers go, and everybody knows you. So I I, I don't need to introduce you, but I'm going to anyway. But uh, what's going on, man? Long time no talk. Oh man, things are going good around here. Been uh, plugging away, working in the software world. Uh, just got back from two week vac. Well, <laughs> can you call it a vacation? If one <laughs> week of the two weeks is with Boy Scouts, and the other week is with a uh, young women's youth group. No, I, I think that's more work than you. You probably wanted to go back to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, to be really frank, my kids were there, and I did enjoy my time with my kids, but. I did find myself looking at my watch going, can I go to work again yet? No. All right. It's Tuesday. All right. I'm just going to sneak out. You guys are fine for the next couple of days. I'm just, I got something to do real quick. Yeah, exactly. So you're in Arizona. If people didn't know, is it like a billion degrees? Because it's like half a billion here. Uh, it's actually today was really pleasant. I went out for, uh, oh, I went out to lunch with a friend and I got my car. I didn't even need my AC on. It was actually wow. really nice. But um, that's the but, only yeah. time. See, <laughs> the rest it's of the been, year. There you go. It's been pretty darn hot, though, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm in North Carolina in this year for whatever. Everywhere across the country has been steamy. So we went from like this super long, awfully cold winter into super long, awfully hot summer. So we're just never happy. I think that's the that's what the takeaway is from this. What What's the temp and the humidity? I got to hear it. So uh, it's a whopping uh, 93 degrees right now, actual temperature with uh, heat index. We're at 104. So not okay. bad. I mean, it's not, I know you're, it's not Arizona. Your nice is probably what I just said. Well, like, actually, oh. it, 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 I just checked. My temperature here is 101, <laughs> but the humidity is so low that it doesn't feel hot at all. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, you just do but, this and block the sun for just a second, and it's cool. I yeah, that's how that works. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You're like die, sun. Like just like you have this this little solace of like <laughs> something you can live in. That's all you, you do is you just get one attached to you and walk around the, like that, and then you're always cool. Boom, life hack. So funny you say that. They're, one of the Boy Scouts, he has very fair skin, and. He was walking out the backpack in this clamp with an umbrella that came out the top. And he was walking around camp with this thing. 
And I let it go for like two days without saying a single thing. But I started calling him Mary Poppins after a while. <laughs> He's a sweet boy, but my gosh, like, how can you put that on and just act like everything's normal? No, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a point where before you care too much as a kid, there's a point of not caring, right? My kids do that yeah. too. Like, you're going to wear that? Really? We're going in public. Yeah, why? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here, put your umbrella, you know, attach your umbrella to your backpack and let's go hang out. According anyway. to my wife, that's the age I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. There you go. So if people don't know, you are, tell us, kind of tell us about yourself before I go and babble about all the things that you do. What do you do? Like, where are you? Who are you? What are you with? Like, what's your company? What do you do? That kind of thing. Well, pretty simply, I am a husband and a father that ran a window cleaning company and the window cleaning and pressure washing company I ran for like uh, five years. Um, while I was running that company, I found out that I really love systems and I liked the business side more than I liked the technical side. And it wasn't that I didn't like the technical side. It was just that I really got into the systems. And as I got going, I started developing these cool online tools so that my customers could interact and get quotes from my website and stuff like that. Before I knew it, I had a company that I was having to build for customizations for other companies called Responsibid. And then that grew into actual product that I was selling to other window cleaning, pressure washing companies. And as I was getting pulled in two different directions, sold the window cleaning, pressure washing company. And now uh, for the last uh, four years now, I've just been doing straight up software and it's been an absolute blast. Obviously, now that I'm both feet into the software, we've been able to really grow it. We go into lots of different industries, carpet cleaning, maid service. Uh, pest control now, lawn care, wow. arborists. So now that we're you know growing the way we are, we're ag- actually able to build a lot more cool stuff, all centered yes. around automating the sales and quoting process and the follow-up and kind of the metrics that drive your, your sales process and then connect that to your CRM and calendar, whatever you use. Nice. So if you guys don't know, I always talk about responsive. We'll put a link in this video too. If you want to sign up, we'll give you a coupon code. Kurt will uh, provide that hopefully, but uh, either way, um, Responsibit is the program that sells for you. Like everybody always goes, well, I I, I sell myself. I, you, the people got to talk to me. I say, oh wow, okay. Uh, have you ever bought anything from a company called Amazon or eBay? Well, well, yeah, I have. Everybody has. Okay, who'd you buy it from? Well, I mean, I don't I don't know the company, of course, because that's the world we live in, right? So if you're out there looking at prices and you want the product. You, websites are there to tell people everything about your company, right? It's to be a salesperson. If you add response a bit into that, now all of a sudden it's selling. And now you're getting prices, but the best thing is it takes all your information, captures it. It's now yours. You do automated. Automated part is, is mind-blowing in itself. When somebody just is tire kicking, right? Miss Jones comes in. Now you have all of her information. I always call right away and just say, hey, uh, I saw you came in last night. You're looking at some questions, uh, uh, looking at some pricing. Is there any questions you have? Even if they don't answer, you have all that. And then the automation comes into place. It's amazing. That's not what we're here to talk about response a bit. I'm a huge, huge fan. Literally the best piece of software that I've ever bought for my company. Um, but that's besides the point. So on top of all of that, you're also a software guy now, which by the way, have you, did you ever realize you were going to be a software guy? Like, Way back when, were you like, oh, I want to run a software company? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> the learning curve has been steep and painful. <laughs> uh, I would say that it's worth it. I feel very fulfilled. But uh, no, when I was at school, I, I graduated from the ASU Business College. And I was going to be starting a bike store, a bike shop. Like, yeah. uh, that did bicycle tours and stuff like that. I'm nowhere near where I started. <laughs> yeah. You're, you've, you've taken the whole, you know, they say, oh, there's a fork on the road. You've taken a few forks now. And, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but with that being said, now we talk about the huge convention all the time. People get sick of me hearing it. But it's uh, August 23rd, 24th at the uh, Atlanta Marquis Marriott. Uh, but before that, there's actually the Software Service Summit. Did I say it right? What did I mess no, it up? Service Software Summit. <laughs> I, was, I was just talking right. to... Yeah, I was just doing a live with Chris like a week ago. I could not get the like le- words right. Anyway, that's what's going on first, but it's all about software. Now, the huge convention for anybody who doesn't really know is not like, hey, here's how you use a squeegee. Come watch. Like, Yes, there is that, but the whole thing of it is the business side of it. And like you said before, 
software is the way the world is going. That is how you automate. A piece of software can be as good as one entire employee by itself. So before that, you you basically decided to start this kind of summit, which is training, well, classes and, and trade shows and all that just on software. Like, where did that come from? Tell us about that. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, to be really honest, it didn't start that way. It started out as me thinking I want to do ResponsaCon, like a, a user a software user group where all of my response bidders could come and I would just show them ninja tricks, best practices and cool stuff the day before. Which still sounds awesome by the way. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And I know it would be cool, but what happened was I started talking to some of the people that response would connect to, because obviously the sales is all good that we do, but we need to connect to operational softwares, review collection software. So we're connected to a lot of different softwares. Anyway, I kind of mentioned what I was doing to some other people that we had, common uh, users with. And I said, hey, you should come to ResponsaCon and speak to our users about how your connection at ResponsaCon works. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, things are getting out of control. And people kept coming to me and asking me for it. So here's what we ended up doing. We said, throw away ResponsaCon. Let's just have uh, service people come and learn about different types of service softwares. And we'll run it like a TED event. So there's not a trade show. There's not uh, a bunch of like breakout sessions. You sit down in one chair and then every 13 minutes with two minutes of passing between, there's another talk with one hour of content being given over the stage. So each speaker has prepared three talks or each, uh, sorry, sorry, each company has prepared three talks and they have, have to send them to me, send them to me and I review them to make sure that at the end of that 13 minutes, someone will feel like they've absorbed uh, an hour worth of content. Yeah. So we go through the day and it's just like a TED talk. It's just boom, 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 lunch, boom, 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 and then it's over. (laughs) And then the next day is the huge convention. So you talked about the trade show and all that other stuff and and the huge convention has always been awesome at helping people understand the business, the operation, and yes, there are sales things tied into it. But what I felt was Software, by its very nature, is designed to be systematized. You know, the more I learn about code, the more I learn. You give it one thing, it processes that one thing, and it gives you that the result. And that's how a system works. You put something yeah. in, something happens, it processes, and it comes out. Well, here is the opportunity for people to see not only systems, but for softwares that people would normally have to take forever to get demos going and learn what the principle of the software is that even does. It'll allow people to sit down and see, here are some systems that software uses, and here's some software companies that do it, and you can learn about the company, you can learn about the process, and you can learn about who is killing it with this system, and do you want to use the software? Do you want to just make that system yours? You know, however you want to make it work. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You know, the way that this whole thing is morphed too, I mean, you've been in this, I mean, you've been to every trade show for the past uh, uh, forever. Not only that, but you've won contests in every one of them too. I'm pretty sure of that. But um, with all that is that's the best thing about this is that out of all of the other industries that are kind of close to ours, we seem to be so much more focused on like the tech side of how to actually run a legitimate business. Like, yes, there's bucket bobs out there. Again, if you're an owner operator, that's all you do and you don't care about any of the systems or softwares or anything else, that's awesome. You can't be wrong. It's your business, right? But the general consensus is that we all own businesses. Like this is a business. We happen to do window cleaning and pressure washing, but the business side of thing is just it, it's it's taken off so much more than it was even five, ten years ago. So that's huge. Yeah. Who who's well, gonna be go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I'll tell you who's going to be there because I think that's a fantastic question. One thing I just want to add in right there is that if you're in almost any other industry outside of the cleaning industry, there are service seminars or service uh, software conferences that are for your industry. Like the cleaning industry just doesn't have one. Is it because there's no software? No, there's lots of software. But the point is is that people – get so into the widget and the chemical and the, the thingy bopper that goes out and does the cleaning that I feel like, and I, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I'll learn this at the conference, but I feel like a lot of us sort of like go, I'm a professional because I know which chemical to, 
called a mix, which right. that does make you a professional. Like I dare you to, to mix bleach and uh, ammonia. Uh, yeah, ammonia or something <laughs> yeah. and see how ex- expert you feel then. But, but what I'm trying to get at is we have software that will actually step your game up, your customer experience up. And it's not just responsive. Um, you asked about what people are going to be. There's going to be um, nice job will be there. Job will be there. Um, quality driven software, which measures your employees effectiveness. Syngin, which automates postcards and voicemail drops and radius bombs around your customers. Stacy Harris, she's a Facebook or actually she's a social media um, strategist. She actually builds social media strategy for companies so that wow. you know what the heck you're doing. Jill's office, which is probably one of the most powerful, robust call centers that you could get to answer your phone. Um, they're actually trained in response bid, customer factor, jobber. They actually wow. can answer your phone, give a quote, and schedule a job in your area, even if they don't know your crew or your area. It's amazing. Um, bookkeeping, etc. A bookkeeper that Makes, you know, everybody loves finances, right? So um, they're a profit first focused bookkeeping agency. They're going to go and all these people are going to just teach you what makes their system work. And then at the end of every single talk, well, two of the talks will be nothing about their software. It'll just be about systems that they're expert in. Their third talk will be basically showing you a demo of how what they do works. There's no hard sales pitch. I've made sure that every single person who speaks is doing nothing but education, even if that's just yeah. educating you about what they do for a living. It's it's not going to be like, but if you don't buy it, you know, I'm going to send Mr. Yeah, Infomercial yeah. guy to the house. Yeah, we're going to walk through the crowd right now and go ahead and sign on the dotted line. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. None of that. None of that. You know what's so crazy is that, like, again, we're such a little, like, we all think we have these this you know we're this giant industry but it's such a little industry of the things that we do but there's so much like i mean everything that you said every one of those software programs is an employee like you can pay a couple hundred dollars a month if that and have somebody who does all of an employee's job like that is just it 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 really does kick somebody it's the the ceo of coca-cola doesn't also call people back. He doesn't also, you know, <laughs> schedule things. He doesn't also do the accounting. He doesn't do this Facebook post, right? They have something for that. So we can still be a smaller size company, big in our eyes, right? But smaller size company and have all of the bells and whistles that everybody else has in these bigger companies. I, I guarantee you that the people that come to the summit aren't even going to know that these tools exist. Like I've really gone out and tried to find, and actually there's a couple that I haven't brought up that I'm still seeing if we can logistically work in. But I know a lot of people have no idea that these that these types of tools aren't are in total available. And even if you've heard of one of those companies, you probably only know about that much of, yeah. of what they do. And I'll give you you just made a good example. The Coca Cola CEO isn't calling people back, or at least he's not setting up his own appointments, probably. Yeah. Quality driven, when I ran my window cleaning and pressure washing company, I spent no less than four hours a week tracking customer surveys, figuring out commissions based off of those surveys and making scorecards for my employees. Because I knew that if I didn't track my employee's scorecard, I knew that I would be completely dead in the water. I would be just like every other company. And that was how we built our unique selling proposition. Quality Driven for $30 a month does what took me 16 hours a month at whatever you want to multiply what you think I'm worth, but I know what I thought I was worth, and right. it was not thirty dollars worth of work. Yeah, and it does it without not just the time, but also that that mind bending of like, oh, who was on that crew at this time? Yeah, and, you know, just whatever. the dream, so, the 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 lost uh the lost cost of um you know possibilities. So if you're spending sixteen hours a month, that's sixteen hours you're not spending on focusing on building your business or something else that you could actually be generating some kind of income. Which in all reality, basically what normally happens, I I believe I was sort of an outlier tracking that sort of stuff. What what normally happens is that people just ignore it mm-hmm. and they don't get that information or they don't pay their employees based off of empl- uh, customer satisfaction. And so what ends up happening is is that they're surprised when their employee who trades hours for time milks the clock or a commission employee goes out and does a bunch of crappy work as fast as possible. Right. So, uh, so the thing is, is that we as humans, business owners included, tend to veer the direction of like, I've only got this many hours in the day. 
how can I just get the most out of it with the least resistance? Yeah. And, and so I think that's going to be one of the beauties of what we discuss is how to say you could do the same exact things you are already doing, but get like if you had hired a $1,500 a month employee that worked part time for you, yeah, get that kind of value out of it. Yeah. And, and the worst part about it is, is if you don't actually know what's going on in a lot of this stuff, you know, if it just doesn't like I always talk about responsive but people coming in and checking the price. If you don't know who, how many people went on your site? Well, yeah, you can look at the analytics, but with bounce rates and everything else, like who, what did they, what was their eyeballs actually focusing on the page without a responsive type thing tracking? I know that's not what we're talking about, but just for that, you know, purpose, you don't know. So when somebody goes, well, how are things going? Or like the, the, the employee cards, like, oh, how's things going? Oh, it's going good. That is the worst thing that can happen for your business is that you can yeah. assume it's going good when it's not. Things could be if you if you don't open the door to the office, you don't know if it's on fire, you know, because you just don't even look in there. You just assume everything's fine. And, and you don't want to look problem. in there. Yeah. I mean, because I talk to business owner all owners all day long. One of the things that is common with the greatest of entrepreneurs out there and the ones who are just at the humble beginning is that almost every single one would rather think that there's a fire in the office with the door shut than open the door to find out if there's actually a fire. Yeah, because yeah. if I open it and I know there's a fire, then I might have to have a hard conversation. I have to do then something I might have to um, throw off the schedule I'd already gotten for myself today. Yeah. And I had myself, I had an employee that was cancerous in my company before I started my, my uh, employee measurement system that took forever. He was cancer. He's killing my company from the inside out. He was destroying the people I was putting with him in the cruise. Uh, he was awesome and fast and everything. But if I had, when as soon as I started tracking employees, guess what happened? You saw it. I was cured of cancer, and yeah. I I had neglected that for over a year because yeah. I just didn't want to open the door and go, oh, I got to deal with that really really crappy thing. Why do you think people don't go to the doctor regularly? Is it because they can't find an hour every six months? Or do you think it's because they don't want to find anything out? It's right. better living, you know, naive than it is actually knowing. Yeah. Yeah. But the cool thing is, is that not only, you know, knowing things is all well and good. But what I've tried to do is bring, like, for example, nice job. Nice job isn't just going to make you aware of all the reviews you're not getting. It's going to just be a thing that you plug into your business and all of a sudden your reviews start getting done. And all yeah. of a sudden your customers start sharing their review when they're done onto their social media and your company starts sharing it on your social media. And you won't change anything about what you're doing, but now you'll say, oh, wow, I was missing 20 reviews a week. Yeah. Oh, and I'm also getting 20 reviews a week and they're getting shared on the social media by the people giving those reviews. I'm happy. And, and the, you lifted one finger to dial the number or, you know, set up the, like the first time it just does yeah. it from there. Yeah. 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 So I've tried really hard to not bring in, to make the service offer summit, a bunch of stuff that's like alarmist, like, Oh, you could be doing this better. Well, you could follow the process that nice job uses to capture your own reviews. And it's not that a human couldn't do it. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do that, to be just like that system. But yeah, more than likely, you'll probably find that spending 50 bucks a month and having nice job do it for you is probably a way better ROI. But if you, you don't have 50 bucks a month, you'll walk out of the software summit going, I, I now know that. how I'm going to get a buttload more reviews. Can I yeah. say butt on here? You can, you can. We'll bleep it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, but that's it. Like the the learning side of it too. Like you said, you, you don't have to buy the su the summit is not for buying stuff. Which if you want to buy it, awesome. There's probably some specials going on, but you still are learning from these same people who, you know, nice job. Those guys are so smart. You, I always talk about that. You're so smart, just like in the way you think. Like this is the reason we go to these shows. It's mm -hmm. it's you learn so much from from like I love the TED Talk idea too. If you are watching or listening to this right now and you don't know what a TED Talk that's T E D like the name TED Talk, just search a TED Talk one time. There is literally thousands of TED Talks on everything you could ever possibly wonder <laughs> and things you didn't even know you wanted to know about. It's just people yeah. talking about it, and that's that's what we're doing. It's just ways of learning, you know. Absolutely, yeah, and I and I love that format just because. You're not going to have to find yourself going, should I go to this breakout or this breakout? They're both really important to me. Yeah. I felt like I need to make sure that every talk is important and relevant. And 
I need to make sure that everybody can listen to every talk. Now, if you need to step out for one of the talks and take a phone call and you decide, you know what, this is a talk that I can miss, you know, it's not going to matter to me that much. Don't worry because 13 minutes later, there's a brand new talk on Next stage. One. That's gonna hit you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, the best, uh, asset, um, uh, personality trait, if you will, of a business owner is, uh, is ADD. That is literally every one of us. That's why we all have 10 things going at one time and why we can do all this. So having a 13 minute talk is really, really a good idea. <laughs> I, I, I thought that too. I remember, uh, I would be giving these talks like in the breakout sessions of like, for example, NOLA or something. And sometimes that would give me like two hours to fill, which I had no problem covering that much content. I had a lot of stuff I want to say, you know me, I'm a talker, <laughs> but I would get these people in the room and as people start nodding off, I'd be like, Hey, did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Like I just said something awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but not to be, but the thing is, is we're humans. We are ADD and they've been running around like crazy for the last six months. And we bring them into our room and we set them down. And if this, if the scenery stays the same too long, you're going to get the nod. Yeah. Like you just, you're going to, we, we don't get sleep anyway. You know, like, I mean, as business owners, we don't get sleep. So if something's going on and on and on, there might be a little opportunity. We would sometimes have to take it. But so how do we, how do we get tickets to this off? How do we get tickets? Okay. So if you've already purchased a huge convention ticket, um, there should be a link in your inbox that will take you to the service offer summit to get the discounted rate. Um, even better than the discount rate off of service offer summit.com. But if you haven't bought your huge convention ticket that yet, then just buy your huge convention ticket at and then, the and, huge convention.com. Go ahead. Correct. And then as soon as you're done buying the ticket, there's the discounted rate as the attendee. If for whatever reason we're talking here and you say, I'm not going to the huge convention, but I can make it on the 22nd to the service offer summit. Feel free. Go to service offer summit.com. Click on the buy a ticket thing. Um, we are still using the discounted price. Uh, the at the door price will be about twice as much as it is now. Um, but anyway, yeah. So the whole idea is let's get one set of flights, one extra night in the hotel, and let's drop on you as much content oh, yeah. as we possibly can. It's three days then. If you do it all, three days of just the most intense like business. Not like, hey, I'm talking to car salesman and I'm, you happen to be a window cleaner. This is just window cleaning and pressure washing. Like so specific. You'll, you'll never get this kind of again. And I know that, that the service software summit has been just so many people. I'm on live chat at night. As you know, I get probably two or three people ask about it at night. So it is just going crazy. So I don't know if there's going to be a cap or, but this is going to be happening every year. I can only imagine. And this is such a great idea. I think it learning wise, yeah. it's amazing. We're trying we're, we're trying to build up. There's not going to be a cap, I don't think, because the room that the huge convention helped us to get was a pretty good sized room. Nice. The, the one thing that we are trying to do, though, is keep the prices as low as we possibly can until the room starts to fill up, at which point we'll have to raise the price because yeah. we only have so much space. That all said, you just brought up a good point that I want to make sure people understand, too, is that when I, when I owned my window cleaning pressure washing company, I knew that I love systems. The only way I could go to software conventions was to pay the $500 price tag, go to InfusionCon or they call it Icon now, or go to some of these other like really big uh, software conferences. And you're right. I would get there and like 45% of the information went across the whole board and it was yeah. useful. But then there was the rest, that 55% that I was like, yeah, but I'm not a doctor or yeah, but I'm not a chiropractor or a, a travel agent. And so I like, it just didn't matter to me. Yeah. That is one of the things. And one of the things that makes us so unique is outbound service. So many businesses are inbound service companies or consulting companies where, you know, I don't have to worry about drive time. I don't got to worry about equipment. I don't got to worry about crews on the field, out in the field. So those other software conferences sort of get irrelevant as soon as they just start considering that all your traffic is coming into your hair salon. Well, no, they're not like, yeah. I'm the exact opposite of that. So this is, this conference is going to shine for that. Yeah. You get a hundred percent of knowledge. Like I always tell people like it is everything from when you land, everybody you talk to or eat with or drink with or party with or dance with or, or talk to or eat breakfast with every single person is in the exact same business. You get a hundred percent of that it's not like you know hopefully i could pick something out no you literally get a hundred percent of it it's it's an awesome yeah. opportunity yeah I, I remember sitting at the table at one of my software conference lunches 
this guy, his business was helping people to memorize stuff. That was his business. He had a, a teaching thing that he did to help people to maximize their memory and never forget anything, which I'm like, that can't possibly be true. <laughs> and then he said, uh, open up a book and read me three paragraphs. And I, he handed me this, this book or one of the other people at the table handed me a book and I read them like three paragraphs. And then he recited all three paragraphs back to me. And I thought that is so impressive and such a useless set of networking for me. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was cool. It was really cool. But, but that's anyway. the thing. If you lose knowledge, then you're going to a conference and you're, like you said, like 45% of the conference, you actually get something out of the rest of the time you're doing this, you know? Like, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true. It's true. Well, awesome. Well, either way, I am excited for the show. Every year I'm excited. I know it's coming up. Uh, get your service software summit. If you don't have the tickets, get them already. I can't. People always get so mad. They're like, what are the prices? I would like, I'll buy tickets if I can get it at the old price. You can't. There's not a, an option. We're not being able to give you the old price. Just buy them now. You know you're going to go. Even if you want to go, go. I'm not going to be preachy anymore, but just go. Make it happen. Literally the best thing ever for your business. And uh, another plug real quick, because you are one of my favorite people in all of the world. If you want response a bid, please check below. We'll put a link down below. It is amazing. Everything you do, Kurt, is amazing. It's just awesome. Thank On you. top of all that, <laughs> if you have any type of uh, products, uh, orders, anything, please let me know. Number again, 862-312-2026. And this week, the 5% discount code, you got to call me, got to order it through me, right? The 5% discount code this week is Kurt Rocks. That's <laughs> Kurt Rocks. So you have to use that if you want to get the discount. But anyway... I appreciate it. I appreciate you uh, meeting me with me. Uh, I'm, it, uh, even though you had me just waiting around here, you were late to this uh, recording this. But I was okay with it. I'm okay with it. Um, but I appreciate you checking us out. Um, go buy your tickets and uh, go out there. And until next week, be epic. <laughs>